Good morning from Osaka, Japan. Nelly and I are in a new city and a new country and this is the beginning of a new month. It is October, which means September just ended and this is my quarterly income for Q3 of 2019. Let's go. Whoa, no, 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 no. Let's change a couple things here on the vlog. I want to try new formats while in Japan to uh, yeah, keep it interesting and try to do something a little bit different. Good morning. For those of you who have not seen the My Quarterly Income segment before, this is a portion of the vlog where every three months I like to devolve how much money I have made because, as you may know, a travel videographer and photographer does not make a lot of money. I'm in it for the lifestyle, not for the, uh, the paycheck, but I still do make enough money to sustain this lifestyle and I want to share with you sort of where that money is coming from and how much I make. So let's jump right into the beginning of quarter three, which I believe is July. Jumping right into July. July was the month for Nelly and I that was kind of like vacation. We spent most of it in Canada and I actually didn't have any paid assignments in July. Now I did make though four passive income streams in July, which is really nice because I've been trying to grow that side of my business so that in the case that there are some slow months that I'm still able to generate income. So I was able to do that uh, with four specific um, things that I'm gonna tell you about now. So the first one was getting paid out from the online course that I created so it's called introduction to YouTube for video creators and that sold a number of uh, enrollments and eventually I get paid out per month basis um, by the platform teachable so I got paid out for July from uh, from a number of uh, signups which was really cool so thank you if you were one of the people that bought the course uh, then we had uh, Epidemic Sound, which is one of the affiliates that I work with, they were paying me out after uh, you know you hit a certain threshold of people that sign up uh, to their music licensing platform. Uh, so the, also very cool if you're one of those people. Thank you. Help make me a little bit of money in July. Uh, and then also I got an assignment from one of my old clients to re-edit some video footage that I'd shot last summer uh, into a short trailer for their website. So I did that and got paid for that. Uh, and then also I uh, got some images licensed from G Adventures, the company I used to be an adventure tour leader for. Uh, they licensed a few of my images, which they're gonna use on their website. So yeah, four different things, all of which I made money from in July. Next up is August. The month of August is much faster and simpler than July was. I only had one job in August, one paying job, and that was in Mongolia with Brendan Van Son, and it was an epic, epic adventure. So if you haven't seen those videos, go and check them out. I will link them right here. And if you have seen those videos, you know what it was all about, and we're heading back, which is really, really cool. So next year, August 2020, I will be leading a tour in the remote region of Western Mongolia, and it is going to be such an epic adventure. We've got some people already signed up and we still have space for more so if you're interested in coming to Mongolia to uh, partake in a really really cool adventure photography and videography trip then down in the description is the link be sure to check it out all the detailed information is there because we would love to see you in the field on location traveling with me but that was August one paying gig with Brenda Vance on quick break from my quarterly income because it is lunch and I'm starving for some traditional Japanese food raw fish miso soup pickled ginger soy all the good stuff. 
I'm absolutely terrible with chopsticks. If you know the proper way to actually hold chopsticks, please comment in the, in the bottom because trying to like eat rice with chopsticks is terrible. It's so hard. Lunch is over, we're back at the river here in Osaka and that was delicious! I don't know if you have ever been to Japan, if you have, what was the food like for you? Because for me, that was so good. I've been looking forward to trying Japanese food in Japan for so long and that was just an awesome, awesome lunch. So now I'm looking forward to every single meal and we're going to eat out three times a day for sure because that was so good. Ah, oh, getting back to it though, let's jump into September. September for my quarterly income was a pretty good month. I uh, made three different uh, sources of income in September. Uh, one was licensing drone footage from Venice, which has been sort of my go-to stock drone footage for a long time. Um, and that sold again, which was really nice in September. So I made a bit of passive income, which uh, was similar to July. Uh, so get your stock footage up there and definitely try and build those streams of passive income because they work. Now, the second and third were from Mr. Brendan Van Son and the video retreat and photography retreat in Bali. So we ran our first ever BVS squad video retreat, which was a huge success. So much so that we're doing another one in Cape Town, similar to Mongolia in August. We're gonna run uh, my first two ever solo BVS squad trips. First one's gonna be in Mongolia in August. Uh, and the second one is going to be in Cape Town, South Africa in October of 2020. So both of those two trips are open right now, taking uh, reservations, I guess you could say, uh, on Brendan's website. So I'll link those in the description. But yeah, the two uh, video and photography retreats in September were how I made income uh, last month. And uh, they were great. They were really, really, really good. And that was really, really, really good for me and for my business. So let's jump in to the moment I think you've all been waiting for, which is the total, the grand total of how much I made in quarter three of 2019. And here it is, the moment you may have all been waiting for, the end of my quarterly income for Q3 of 2019. And in total, I made 7,350 euros and 25 cents. Boom, nice. There is one uh, stream of income that I forgot to tell you about. Uh, I saw it on my list for August, and that is YouTube. I made YouTube AdSense, which is thanks to you. So thank you very much for watching these videos and being subscribed, because I do make a little bit of money from YouTube every month, which is really cool. It's not great money, you know, given the amount uh, that we put into YouTube for work, but it is nice to see a little bit of a payout from that AdSense. Anyway, so yes, AdSense. Uh, in total, we got just over 7,000 euros and that does not take into account my expenses. Now, I didn't share my expenses in this video. I've been actually kind of meaning to dive a little bit deeper into the actual expenses, but for the last three months, I've spent almost 6,000 euros. So it does kind of equal itself out. Now, I did make more than I spent, but at the same time, I have to kind of get a uh, better grip on what I'm spending money on to be able to uh, obviously save a little bit and then be able to make a little bit more uh, in those, those harder months when I'm not making a lot of money. So uh, my big expenses this month were definitely accommodation uh, and travel and then uh, taxes. I'm paying like double taxes right now. I'm paying for last year and I'm paying forward for this year. And that's sort of uh, kind of catching up on me. I knew it was going to be uh, an expensive year tax wise, but I did not really see it coming until quarter three here. This is where I got hit the hardest. So I need to be uh, wary of that for the next quarter as well. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm taking the inspiration from Brendan's Income Octopus and putting my own sort of spin on it. And the format for my quarterly income has been uh, doing really good because I want to share with you the, this business, you know, how I make money, where my income comes from, how much I'm making as a travel videographer and photographer, and be transparent about that because it's interesting, especially for those of you who I know are looking to uh, start your own businesses and make a bit of money within this field. So yeah, that's how I made money over the last three months. Uh, not a lot, but I'm still happy with it. And We'll see if we can do better next quarter, I guess. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked the video, and I will see you on the next one from here in Japan.